Hello everyone, in this video we see eBay settings and specifically setting number three, list to eBay, which is pretty long. You can open it, as you can see, and starting from the top, we have the listing type. You can define whether you want to sell something as a buy now or an auction listing, which is very typical for eBay. Most listings are now buy now. Then you select your conditions, which can be new, other types of new, new with the facts, certified, refurbished, and so on. This conditions depend on categories and depend on eBay local sites. Then you can set the duration of your listing, which can be either seven days or maximum possible, where maximum depends on, again, product categories or listing category and eBay local. You can turn the out of stock option on. If you have the out of stock option on, when one of your listings goes at stock zero, is not canceled from eBay in that very moment and stays within your eBay account, although not searchable and even, of course, not purchasable. But when its stock comes back above zero, that same listing turns on again in eBay. If you keep the out of stock off, and this is a, an eBay rule, when your listings go in out of stock, they will be canceled from eBay. And if the stock goes back above zero, eBay will create a new listing. It's a new listing. It may not be synchronized with other listings and it may not have the history of your previous listing. So best option is to keep the out of stock on. Further down, title prefix. Title prefix allows sellers to write a text before the title of their listings. This is typically done by mono branded stores that want to list on eBay. So if you only have one brand or maybe you have a couple of brands, you're not going to be repeating your brand name in each and every one of the titles of goods in your own store. But on the other side, if you list on eBay, yes, you'd like to cite the fact that we're talking about some branded item. So this is a perfect place to type down your brand name or whatever else you wanna say in all the products you will list on eBay after you make this change. Furthermore, you got price rules. They can be kept off or otherwise set as percentage or pure amount. And if you have them as percentage, you can may have a price adjust, which is plus some percentage, 5%, or minus some other percentage, minus 9%. This will be a change reflected in eBay compared to the price you have in Nemble, which may be a price imported from some other channel, for instance. And you may set the automatic rounding on or off, which is telling the system, telling Nemble, to round automatically your prices at the nearest 0.99 cents. This, of course, is designed so that you will not have ugly prices like $32.34 because you made a minus 5% or plus 8% price differentiation on eBay. Farther down, there's VAT. In some countries, specifically countries with VAT taxation, which are all European countries, eBay makes it required for sellers to define per each product what is the VAT rate of that product. And this is the place where you can do that at account level. Furthermore, shorten titles on or off. You may be aware that eBay has a maximum length for your titles. So if you import your item from say Etsy or Shopify, your titles may be too long. So you set this on and the listing will go through into eBay with the title abruptly, I must say, cut at the maximum length. But at least you will not have an error the following one is limit listing quantity. Again, you may be aware that eBay for many sellers has a maximum listing total expressed in dollars or currency, whatever. So this means that you have 10 products with a lot of items in stock. You may hit your upper limit of listing value just because you have many items within your stock. 
and this is a way to have you know 1000 pieces in your warehouse but tell eBay that you only want to sell 10 or 20 so that you do not hit those maximum value threshold. The other reason to use this function is to give a scarcity perception to your buyers. So you only list three or four and buyers will always see that there's only three or four on sale. Then as, as soon as you sell one, Nimble will restock that one missing and you're gonna have again whatever the limit is, say maximum quantity three pieces. So that's for maximum quantity and the last bulk of settings regards policies. So we have a postage policy or a shipping policy, payment policy and return policy which can be set in Nimble among the policies you have already in your eBay account. I have to say many sellers have errors in business policies. The error lies within the policy you design within your eBay account. So if you get an error, any type of error here, please make sure A, you picked the correct business policy and B, that the business policy you picked within Nimble works within your eBay account and eBay changes rules all the time. That's why here you can set also the eBay site so you can actually decide where you're listing on which site you're listing and where is the item location and what is the postal code you're shipping from. Postal code, item location and eBay site must be consistent. eBay is very strict on this and the strictness is designed to avoid frauds. It's designed to protect buyers. That's all for the list to eBay settings and it's a lot. Remember to save changes.